Hey guys, Michael here with another RenderMan tutorial, just a very quick one today. We're gonna to look at portals and how to use them. So say you have a scene like this, a very this is a very basic version of um, what your scene might look like, but you've got say a room for instance with a window and you wanna shoot some light through there um, and you, you wanna base this light on maybe a Pixar environment light, which I'm gonna add in in a moment you're gonna get some problems where the light's gonna actually be entering in um, from all directions. So if you've got any walls missing or a roof missing or whatever, then you're gonna get light from there and it's not gonna look very realistic. So to show you, I'll quickly create a uh, Pixar environment, uh, dome light and then I'll do a quick render and you'll see immediately what our problem is. Um, we're getting light entering through this as well, uh, this wall here at the front, as well as the window on the left hand side here. And that's not what we're after. Uh, we're wanting to have it so we're just getting light through this window. And we can do this with a very simple addition of a uh, portal. So if I stop that render, uh, we can chuck a portal into the scene in two different ways. Um, the first way, and probably the easiest way, would be to select your dome light. Go down to, in the attribute editor, go down to portals and then click the uh, checkerboard and it'll instantly add one in. And if I move that over to where the window is and then resize it slightly uh, and then run an IPR again, you'll see the difference is now that the light is being transmitted through the window based on where that portal is. So if I, uh, for instance, moved that and run the IPR again, you'll see that the light is now um, being shot through the portal at about halfway through the um, room there. So you could use this in a number of ways, but generally uh, one of the most common ways to use it would be for a window. Um, possibly you're finding that you're not getting enough light through the window for, from your environment uh, light. So you could add a portal and then increase its intensity uh, as you wish. And you could also tint the color. If, it, if you are using an environment map on your dome light, it will tint that color as well. Otherwise, all your other controls work the exact same as a standard light. Okay, so I've added an uh, HDR to the uh, dome light that we've got in the scene at the moment. And I just wanna show you how you can render it so you can see the uh, HDR image in the window. So at the moment, if we look through the window, we can't see it. We're getting all its light information. We're getting the reflection on this object, which I just quickly placed in. Um, but we aren't getting the actual image itself in the portal. And that can be fixed very easily by selecting the portal and uh, going over onto the right-hand side where the attribute editor is and selecting camera visibility on. And then you'll have to rerun the IPR. But now you will see when you look at the portal, you can see the image. So you'll see this fellow in the green t-shirt here um, is now visible in the portal. And it's just as simple as that. And obviously you can resize your portal to be as big as you or small as you want. Um, these do work like physical lights. So if you have a small portal, it will um, produce less light and it will enhance your shadows. Uh, it will show up finer details in your shadows. So you'll need to balance that out with the uh, multiplier if you're wanting to have a smaller uh, light there as well. Otherwise, that's pretty much it for portals. They're very straightforward. Um, someone asked me about this just a day or two ago, so I thought I'd just quickly do this one for anyone else that was wondering as well. So yes, hopefully you liked this tutorial. If you did, make sure you click that like button so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed as I'm putting out a couple of tutorials a week at the moment for all sorts of CG products. So if that's what you're into, make sure you are subscribed. Otherwise, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching and happy rendering.